So, uh, this is the first recording session. I think session. that uh, boat analogy pretty much describes all of what happened last session. So I think that counts as a recap. Uh, if you all would like to recap, <laughs> y'all are free to do so, because there was a lot more that happened last session. Uh, so you all are free. So who would like to do the recap this week? Uh, this is the first session for you all who don't know. I'm not speaking. Let's to see. We had, we fought off the cultists that were uh, threatening us at the end of uh, not last session, session before that were banging at the doors. Uh, last one ran away to a bunch of troglodytes and we killed those guys. And then we searched around, searched around, found the parent cult leaders like den or something. And then we continue on, found that uh, underground lake. Saw that bow, and then we uh, saw t- fought in those two alligators. Alligators are crocodiles, then. Yeah, I think they were crocodiles. Can confirm they were crocodiles. You also oh, they're see- now saltwater crocodiles because we made them cry. T- <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> they're just salty and saying. And I'm sure we'll see more in a while anyway. Assumptions, assumptions. You don't I mean, know what else is down here. <laughs> this, is y'all, yet. this is y'all's third session in this dungeon, by the way. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> it's taken us three sessions. We still haven't explored the full extent of this dungeon. <laughs> We did spend like 20 minutes on a false door. Yeah, that that's is true. true. Let's see if we can spend another 20 minutes at another false door. Can't wait. <laughs> and to confirm, as you all were asking, yes, as you all have uh, seen when you all retrieved the boat, you did see a small door that was hidden uh, back where the, do- <laughs> the boat was. To confirm what was asked before the session started. <laughs> uh, oh boy! They just slammed the, the table. <laughs> Sorry, I just. Uh... I thought somebody was mad. Like, damn it! I knew there was a door there. <laughs> uh... All right, so Sock, you're in the boat. Uh, Anoni, Dan, you all are in the water, and Zeros, you're standing on the shore watching them. Yep. What would you all like to do? Bear in mind your resources uh, and the, the time map. you have. And bear in mind that the resources you have and the time you have spent in this dungeon so far. I'm gonna walk out of the water, back yeah. towards Lorelith. Maybe we yeah, should. Yeah, I'll get in the boat with uh, um, <laughs> Eldel. Wait, yeah, Eldel. Wait, Eldelar. Eldelar is in the boat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the map though. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. For some reason, you, for some reason you weren't getting it. Like everybody else got it, but you didn't. <laughs> My apologies. Uh, to ask questions, yes. Uh, we're all relatively new. Uh, and this do you is guys want to all get a boat? <laughs> this is our third session in this lake, dungeon. Then, or mm, kind of feel maybe we should explore some other areas first before we go sailing. Personally, this is my own opinion. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with Laurel if I would floor down the hallway. Yeah, because I want to see what's down here. Secrets. All right. right here. You care if I expand a hit dice to gain back what um, hit points I've lost? You will have to take a short rest. Yeah. Uh, Do you want to, like, sleep here? <laughs> well, how long you is short sleep. rest? You had to spend an hour resting. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You could not take a long rest in the dungeon. You, take a nap. You, yeah, basically. You remember, remember, you cannot take a long rest inside a dungeon-ish place. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. A- and I will remind you that taking a short rest might be hazardous to one's health. Because this may not be happy to just let you sit by and rest for a little while. Yeah. Just like Elder Scrolls are in. Um, then... Uh... No short rest. If you all wish, you all are more than welcome to step out of the dungeon and go find a spot to rest. 
I mean, if that's what the party wants to do, it would be nice to get my spell points back. Yeah, I'm pretty hurt, and I'm pretty low on resources myself, too. You gain your spell points on short rest, or is it on long rest? Cause... On a long oh, rest. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, never mind, then. Or that doesn't need, need any fucking rest. I mean, you would, you would have to spend eight hours. Uh, uh, somewhere. Uh, yeah. I don't think we have that much time, either. Nope. How much you got left to go, though? It might matter. Yeah, we still have the cult leader fight, who's probably not going to be an easy fight. Yeah, I don't know. We see y'all having this conversation back and forth while y'all sit in the boat. They're sitting on the they're sitting on the the, the shore, kind of having this conversation back and forth. Oh, So, anyone for a long rest, say aye. Aye. Whatever you guys want to do. <laughs> anyone for a no long rest, say nay. I'm not a horse. <laughs> I think we only had one long rest, so. You had one long rest, one and, I don't care. Don't and two undecideds, I think? I don't know. <laughs> this is the far decision. I'm staying out of it. It, it doesn't matter to me. Cause... It don't matter to me either. The monsters come. They always come. Yeah. Uh, before you all realize, the, the gray areas here, they Soft cannot already saved. actually see. We wanted to... Take the rest or not? I said I don't care. Oh, okay. I must have missed that at some point. <clears throat> the indecision. So, lower level, it looks like it's uh, up to you because right now I'm sitting pretty good. What do you mean it's up to me? They're the ones that need the rest the most. They need their rest. Let's give them their rest. All right. To the rest. And where do you all plan to go? How far was the town from uh, this place? Uh, several yeah. hours journey. Oh. Yeah. And keep in mind that town was uh, abandoned, so it's not like we're going <laughs> to stay at an inn or something. You might be able to make a shelter. Yeah, well, we could do that. But in that case, we could like camp somewhere. Sure, we do that plenty of times anyway. Yeah, we should get a bit away from this uh, cult temple place and camp out and take our long rest then. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. Alright, so you all wish to exit the dungeon temple and go find a spot to camp out. Yes, I suppose that is yeah. what the party has deemed as necessary. Okay. <laughs> so, do you all remember how to... I mean, you all can see how to get back out of here. It's not that hard. Uh, Gonna row us over here and park the boat. Yep. Make sure to remember where we parked. Or do you want to get in the boat and go to the door? <laughs> or do you want uh, to sleep in the boat? <laughs> I say get in the boat and go to the door. <laughs> I mean, we could just walk, kind of walk around. I mean, you do kind of have to crawl through stuff, but... I 
I make simple suggestions and it takes the party for this long. I swear well, to God. Well, it looks like we could just go straight up, go to the frog room, go right, and then out, and then wherever we camp at. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you all are going to walk your way back out. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So you all are, are kind of just making your way back out. You all are capable of doing yeah. so. Uh huh. Single file now. Mm -hmm. Is this the order you want the party to be in? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm fine with where. That. <laughs> I don't know about everyone else. You're fine as long as there's people in front of you to take the hits, right? Yep. That's the plan. Okay. You see any damage on Lorleth? No, I didn't think so. Uh, he's not even got to four in yet. They've still got all this level and an entire another level to go. Because here's the stairs down. Do and, and Do I cool. hear anything? Um, right now it all seems pretty calm. All right, keep it trucking. All right, so you've basically made it back into the main entrance area. muddy ladder slash stairwell down. Uh, do you want us to make any kind of checks for climbing up the ladder or anything? I do. Uh-oh. <laughs> More checks. I would like an acrobatics check for each of you all as you all attempt to scale the very muddy, very slick ladder up the stairs. Oh, jeez. Luther survives. <laughs> Edelar makes it. Said acrobatics, right? Yes, please. Okay. Did that roll? It didn't roll. Did it? No. It did not. Fine. God dang it. How do I get this to roll? Uh. You should be able to drag it onto the chat window. There yeah. we go. There we go. That was the same result anyway. <laughs> yeah. So you're able to climb out. Yeah. I would like to grab a hose of the rope and use it as a guide to go out. Yeah. You have advantage as you find the rope. Buried under the mud yeah. as you all left it behind. Yep. Sure did. And you <laughs> needed it. <laughs> so you're able to take the muddy rope and climb your way out, uh, slipping along the way, but managing to make it to the top with the help of the rope. So you all are now out and out of the out of the inst out of the dungeon. Um, where uh, do you plan to go? You said that the town was a couple hours. It's it's several hours walk. Yes. Probably don't need to go that far. Just far enough that we can find a decent place. Set down. A secluded spot to camp. Yeah. That's not so foggy. All right, so define a secluded spot that would be safe for you all to rest for eight hours. Is there a cave anywhere nearby? Not that you've Jeez. seen. It's a marshy flatland kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Is there an area that might be surrounded by bushes? Not any more than any of the other areas, no. <laughs> hmm. Any areas that are particularly cleared out a little bit? I mean, there there are minor clearings here and there, but nothing. Of, no. it, it, it's not a, not like in a like a, like a. And there's not like a big, big massive forest, and then this little clearing kind of thing. Yeah. 
thought about just like climbing a tree and making a fort or something like that. As your sir, who who is kind of like scouting for the area? Laura Lethwell. Make mm -hmm. a survival check. Okay. I was hoping I could make a check on that. Well. <laughs> you look around quite heavily, but are unable to find areas that you find are safe. Mm -hmm. are my eyeballs made of like iron or something. They're so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Can we at least find a place that's dry and not swampy? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can find some areas that are dried out. Yeah, just find some areas that's not as smushy and wet and foggy. Works yeah. for me. Yeah, you're able to find find an area that's it's dried out pretty decently. There we go. All right. All right. Now, how do you plan to stay hidden? Or how do you plan on keeping yourself from being spotted or trapped? Well, um, I, before we actually set up, I'm going to cast Alarm. Okay. And um, put up a 20-foot long rope. Okay. Okay. Which is this. Just... <clears throat> Thank you. Got it. At least we can have that on, you know, I figured I'd just start it at one tree and try to wrap it to a, to a tree to a tree kind of thing. Okay. Okay. Wrap it to a tree. Um, I don't know. I may put it on our... If we, Whatever direction that this cave or this entrance would be facing that direction. Okay. Fair? Is that fair enough? Mm-hmm. So you're just going to set an alarm, and if something shows up, you're just going to know about it. Yeah. Okay. Is it going to be a mental one or an audible? Um, I will go ahead and make it as a aud audible. Okay. And I want it to mainly alarm for, like, medium-sized creatures, so no tiny. Right? No, I I guess it does work that way. Yeah, I, I read that wrong. You, you, it either does tiny or large creatures whenever they touch or enter the wooden area, so you don't even get medium. <laughs> well, that's hilarious. <laughs> We're gonna get woken up over a freaking like rabbit or something. Why does it only do tiny or large? Why not medium? That's not the way the spell works. Oh, see, I can designate creatures that won't set off the alarm. So I, just, I guess I have to say a certain creature. All the animals that are in the marshes. Can Loreleth do like a nature check or something to kind of give a guess as to the kinds of animals that could be in the area that could set off the alarm? If you would like to try, you're welcome to try. All right. Come on, not a one. Okay, that's not a one. But... I... You can give a, a basic list, of, a rundown of the stuff that will be in the area. Okay. Give that to, uh, Orith. Okay, so you all are set up. So you all have, have made you a small camp, and you all plan to rest. Yep. What's the watch per... What, who's taking first watch, who's taking second watch? I guess I'll be first watch. I mean... No, I'll still take second watch. Okay. I'll take third. There's only two. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I'll take si sixth. <laughs> there's a first watch and then there's a second watch. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Alright. So you all are camped out. Uh, stretched out, relaxing, taking a nap. Hmm. 
Okay. So... Odalar? You're on first watch. Perception. That is not good enough. I'm looking for 20. Oh, uh, am I rolling? You're not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I will ask for the rolls. Don't worry. So you're yeah. sitting back watching, kind of paying attention, kind of just relaxing, as, as you do while you're on watch. Um, and you hear some noises in the bushes. Make a nature check. Okay. Okay. So you you're, you hear some more noises, and it's it's rapid moving footprints. You can hear footsteps moving rapidly. Uh, like humanoid footsteps. Not exactly. But as you, as you get to listening, you get to notice you see movement, and you notice it to be a four-legged creature. As it kind of moves out of your, kind of moves at a, a distance, you see it kind of sprint across, and realize that it is a deer moving outside your periphery, as it bounds across in front of the party. Okay then. <laughs> oh dear. And then the rest of your watch goes by uneventful. Yay. Wonderful. Uh -huh. While you're on watch, however, okay. you hear heavy footprints. Oh, shit. And, and you hear a kind of growling sound. Okay. And then you see something rush across your field of vision. And then you hear a squeal. Okay, we're gonna rouse everyone awake. You hear the sounds of a bear attacking another creature. What sounds to be possibly a boar. Oh. <laughs> Never mind, go back to sleep. <laughs> well, you can not eating us. <laughs> you can hear the boar being drug off. Uh, to be consumed. But... Okay. And then everything passed. made it sound like it was rushing towards us. <laughs> it, it might have at one point, uh, but then the rest of your night ends passes uneventfully. Okay. have taken a long rest. Nice. I will... Do we have to click any button or you click the button? I'm taking care of that. Okay, cool. Excellent. There... Yay, spell slots. I missed you so. Party taking long rest. Yep. You all have successfully found a place to camp and hide out. Mm-hmm. And while animals may have come near and other things, you did successfully get a rest in. That's good. They've got a lot of charges. Don't worry. They probably won't go back a second time. And there's yeah, so much more. Yeah, I think we definitely out. needed that before go get up against a cult, a uh, cult leader, or whatever other nasties are around. Hmm. So, who's ready to go back? Yeah, let's head back cool. then. Yep. Alright. So you all have... You all venture your way back... To the... So is it like morning time now, or is it... It is very, very early. Ah, so it's still pretty dark out. The sun is only just beginning to kind of ah. light the sky. Okay. Very early. You're talking like 4.35, maybe 5-ish. Mm. 
Okay. Well, time for us to go down the rickety ladder again. It's time to make Welcome sure we hold track. the rope so that we don't fall. <laughs> right. I agree. Is the rope still there? Should be. Well, we don't know. I guess we had to see if someone took our rope. I know, yeah. So, you all come back, and the ladder seems to be gone. Oh, fuck. Oh. The rope is missing, and the ladder is gone. Somebody, while you rested, has tried to cover in and remove the entrance way. Hmm. They're not without... Go ahead and rest against that without consequences, boys. Well, too. Can we see the bottom still? Uh, you can, but the entranceway is now kind of a straight slope down. At what angle? A very steep angle. Hmm. Yeah, not, not doing that. <sighs> is there anything to anchor a rope to? You might be able to find a way of anchoring a rope. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna have rappel down there. Rappelling is such an interesting term. <laughs> I prefer bungee jumping. I prefer rope. bungee jumping with the stop at the end. <laughs> uh, you look around. You think you could find a spot where you could anchor a rope? Um... It's still going to be a treacherous climb down, but you believe you can climb down it. Um, it might take a roll. Oh, yeah, I'm going to tie up uh, one of my ropes and anchor that on and dangle. Well, t just try to tie it on and do all that. Do, do I need to make, make a roll first? Please do. What skill would I like that to be? You're you're good at dungeoneering. You're you know you're used to climbing around things like that. I will let you make that a mm. make that a survival check with advantage, as you are used to climbing around <laughs> ropes and and shafts and things like that. Survival. Yes, please. <clears throat> you are able to secure the rope. And prepare to rappel down into the mine sh into the dungeon, just like it's a mine shaft. Uh, do I hear anything like in the media area under there? Uh, you do not. But it is again still a very deep mine shaft. It's a very deep slope down. So. Yeah, I'll rappel first then. Okay. Do I need to make a roll or anything? Uh, no. You are able to to successfully climb down. <laughs> As oh, you were kind the of door. guiding the party down. Because you uh, have a hold... The rope is... T I assume the rope is tied to you, or you're holding onto it of some kind? Something like that. I need everybody else to make acrobatics checks. Can I take oh, an athletics rather take an acrobatics. <laughs> you can take an acrobatics and or athletics check whatever well, you prefer. Hopefully that's still good enough. Uh, despite <laughs> a few slips and a couple tight grabs of the rope, you are all three able to successfully make it to the bottom unscathed. Hmm. Oh, boy. Wouldn't make it hard. Good exercise. Yes, but I really hope wherever we go next, it doesn't involve going through dirty holes. As you reach the bottom, however, mm -hmm. one second. Okay. Part of the map's got to load. <laughs> wait for it to... 
You were for the name of stuff. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> There's two care besties because I, I freaking can't remember how to put this stuff in. Uh, are all the bodies gone that were because we, we encountered like the four of them yes. in here before? They're gone. Somebody has been here. Do we see drag marks like where if they would have or would they seem like that? Oh, there's a cultist. There's another cultist. Instead, you see three cultists coming around the corner. To investigate the sounds they heard as you all come down the stairs. Hi again. <laughs> I need you all to roll initiative. Doing this shit again. Well. <laughs> hmm. Good rolls, everyone. The first cultist, who sees you all coming around the corner, has done his, so his sword and is prepared. We'll rush forward. And attack an Oni. And miss. The second cultist will follow behind. And he will attack and hit. For two damage. <clears throat> Fourth, it is your go. Alright, so I'm going to come up and probably get to about right here. And then... Will I have a advantage on this swing? Uh, you would. Because he is engaging another target. Uh, both hit. It hits. Sorry. <laughs> they both don't hit. Uh. Oh. Okay, what the fuck? That's right, it's 2 2 6 isn't it? Yeah, okay. Uh, the first one, uh, you come up and you slash into the back of the first cultist, impaling him deeply into his back and killing him. And then for my to finish it off, I'm gonna use the rest of my movement to move over to this. Okay. And that will end my. Uh, well, remember, you can't do that in your combat tracker. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to. You see the little man arrow. Yep, there it is. Cool. Yeah. Eldalar. There are three. There are now two cultists. One dead in the floor in front of you. Another one directly in front of you, who was attacked and wounded. Uh, Luther, what do you wish to do? I'm going to step up and give cultist number three a lowly old poke poke. Okay. Ah, uh, that hits. Uh, and that kills him. <laughs> As you run up and just skewer him through with your rapier. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to move up here and use the offhand on this guy. Okay. Technically, I don't think you do that, but I don't care. That hits. Uh, he is heavily damaged as you slash into him, bleeding him badly. Mm -hmm. And that will be my turn. Okay. Laura Leth will step over here. And will uh, <clears throat> fire an arrow at ye olde cultist number two. Okay. And kaboom. That hits. Okay. There's that. And that kills. Okay. Don't even need to roll my Colossus Slayer. Nope. As you sla as you kill down the, the third cultist. Alright. Can I check and see if these guys are human? <laughs> They're human. Yep. 
Like, do I notice anything like weird about them? Do their eyes seem a little snaky or anything? Mm -mm. They do have a snake symbol on their chest upon the robes that they're wearing, but beyond that, they don't seem to have anything that like they're not green skinned. They don't have weird eyes or anything like that. No, no, we know the standard. Um, Loreleth will try to salvage her arrow if she can. Okay. She just fired. Gotta make every shot count. You could try a uh, perception check, see if you can find it. Okay. Ah, uh, you're able to retrieve it. Bam. Sweet. I do apologize for the yawning, I'm sorry. Arrow get. So since the cultists came from this direction, I would suggest we go back down this hallway. Sure, lead the way. Sounds good to me. Wait, <laughs> I'm glad y'all realized what he was pointing, because I didn't have a clue. <laughs> well, yeah, I just... That's... I, I didn't know either. I was just like, sure. I would whatever. like to go carefully down these hallways looking for traps or runes since we found the one rune on the um, yeah. sort of, or the chest. The one that tased me? The taser rune. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so the fighter wizard is leading the path. He is an elder I guess spot. so. <laughs> Uh, I like to look down in the, the room to see if there's anyone in the room. Uh, they're not. The, the, all the doors are still kind of open and stuff like that. They, they seem like they they didn't bother to close up the doors or anything. What do I notice as far as these hallways? Uh, you notice one hallway goes up to a door, and the other one leads... Eh, stop. <clears throat> leads down to a turn. To a turn? No door down there at the turn, just a turn? Just seems to be a turn. <laughs> Eldar, would you like to... Uh... Eldar, sorry. Would you like to do your uh, magic on the, the door? Certainly. <laughs> Assuming it is locked. It is. Okay. Let's say. Lock picking up. How about now? Uh, you're able to unlock it. I'm gonna slowly open it up. All right, so as you open it, you notice a large table. It looks like a dining table <laughs> of some kind. Hey, come on, best friends. Don't die on me now. You still hear me? Yep. 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 All right, fancy grass just, like, paused for about half a second. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I like to do that sometimes. Uh, it was just when that. I was trying to avoid the fog. I think it was just the fog. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, so you, so you can see, as you kind of open the door, you can kind of see, in an, you see a, a long table, and, and so like it looks like a, kind of like a dining table, maybe? What's on the table? Yeah, it seems to be empty, though. Oh, nothing. Does it look yeah. like people came through and scrounged and got all the material, pretty much? Uh, not really. Just nothing put on it. You do but have her notice a long section that leads down into some cask and some some boxes, and at the end you see a, a brick oven. Oh, anybody want pizza? <laughs> I think I'm good. What's in the cask? Uh, as you all kind of search them, you you, you notice there's some mugs and and some low grade wine and dried beans and lard and things like that. Basic Oops, cast. I. Was... Can you repeat that? I accidentally uh, deafened myself. Uh, so as you kind of search through them, you see some mugs and some platters and, and things like that, some low-grade wine. You're able to find some dried beans and some lard and stuff, but nothing of, of major value. Yeah. We don't need any of this junk. And there's no other doors or paths or anything. Not that you see. 
All right. Uh, I'm going to take a quick look around. Do I see any hidden or anything? I mean, you're welcome to check. <laughs> you're going to make a perception check if you'd like to check. <laughs> you don't notice nope. anything. <laughs> Is there anything hidden under the table? No, there's just a couple benches on each side for people to sit down at. Right, I'm just gonna leave that. Okay. That's a good idea. So you all come down, and you notice that this way opens up into a passageway. It then leads down into two other passageways. Actually, we'll just do it like that. Okay. So when I come to the corner here, what kind of what is this passageway? One, two, 10, 20, 25, 30. It's just extended down a passageway. By the way, who's holding light? Huh? I have my goggles. I have oh, dark right, vision. Right, so you have sixty feet open. <laughs> Yeah, we all have dark vision one way or the other, right? Yeah, just he has checking. The goggles. Yeah. Just checking. Okay. Go down to this one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. Actually, you would see down to there. Uh, so you would see like that. Uh, at least one of the passageway, and then you see kind of an opening. This way, you see two doors. Sorry, I was not done. Okay. And further down this direction, you see a door. A door. Right. Is it a jaw? It is. No, it's a door. <laughs> <laughs> this is a jar. No, it's a door. <laughs> is it locked? It, it is not locked. Is it trapped? Make a slide of hand check. As you kind of search around for all. Uh, you, you feel around and check it, so like that. It does not seem to be either locked and or trapped. Alright, I'm gonna open it up slowly. Okay. So as you open it up, you, you see it to be basically be a giant storage room. Um, or, you know, there's crates and barrels and racks, ten spears, four daggers, and a short sword are, um, are, are kind of protected. They're up on racks on the walls. Um, you see crates of dried beans and wheat and flour and, and things like that. You see some stout timbers laying around and stuff like that. Is there any armor laying around? Uh, you don't notice any armor. They're getting into the boring part of the engine. Or well, uh, I'll take a look into the crates and stuff. Do I? What do I find in there? Dried beans and wheat and flour and cornmeal and oh. lard and salt. Oh, I missed the food stud. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sometimes, just, just sometimes. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick look look around, see if I can stash it away or hidden. Okay, good business. What are you trying to do? Uh, take a quick look around, see if there's anything stashed away or hidden. Uh, you don't find anything. Uh, you don't find anything of merit of any kind. Any kind of hidden areas or anything. Do you want to take this hallway or do you want to take the next pass? Uh, should we check the two doors first? In the far right? Oh, on the right one? Sure. Sure. Okay. Oop. Oh, here's yeah. the first door. Oh, so you're trying to get to this door. Okay. Uh, as you try and open it, it seems to be either stuck and or locked. Hmm. Do I see a lock on it? Uh, you don't, actually. It seems to be just a regular door. It's just a plain, basic door with no lock. Hmm. As 
there were any switches or levers around or something? Uh, you haven't seen any, no. Is it a fake door? As you push on the door, you can feel the door kind of push, but it seems to be stuck. Does it appear to be... Can I tell if it's barred or something? Uh, you kind of examine the door. It, it doesn't seem to be barred so much. It just seems like like it's, it's either swelled or something has caused the door to be stuck. Okay. I'm going to come down and check this door also to see if it feels like it's locked or jimmied. Uh, as you kind of push on the door, it, it seems to have the same kind of resistance that the mm. other one does. Uh, I'm gonna try to force the top door. Okay. Make a strength check. Oh boy. <laughs> you are unable uh, to get the door open. Uh, uh oh. Anyone else? Shall I pull out the automatic door opener? Go for it. So I I will stow my great sword and pull out the maul. Yeah. So you're going to try and... to attack the door, huh? Yes. Make an attack roll. <laughs> Do you actually manage to hit the door? Yeah. Mm. Good job. You hit the door. <laughs> I hit the door. Uh, you're able to break the door down. Uh, mm -hmm. so, so you kind of break the door apart. It kind of falls apart. As you so inside the room, you notice one side of the wall has kind of started to cave in and kind of erode and fall down into the corners, and it's kind of started to fill the room up, and that was what kind of seemed to be holding the door back. Hmm. Yes, there's very little to find. So, there's flying snakes and here. the room kind of looks abandoned, here. like nothing. They took most of the stuff out. Uh, you don't see anything inside. Okay. I uh, I place my maul back and then I bring back. Okay. Door number two. Yeah, my dwarf grumbles a bit and tries tries to give this door a shot. Okay. <laughs> you are actually able to open it and. Uh... <laughs> As you kind of shove it aside, you see mud just kind of fly up and, and, and stuff. And you see the room the room is in very much the same shape. Uh, you know, the walls are starting to decay and corrode, and or not decay and corrode, but uh, to erode and, and cave in, kind of, sort of. Filling the room with dirt and mud. Hmm. Again, a dead end. Is this the is this the end of the hall here, or does it lead into the other ha uh, it, hallway there? It leads farther down. The hallway you are in uh, leads farther down. It turns uh, the corner there. Come to the corner. All right, you see, it goes that way, and then it comes down this way. I go to the body of water to see if that goes to the lake we had been at uh, previously. You notice know there's clear water, and it seems to kind of stretch out into the lake. All right. Better know. Uh, as you pass by, you notice the section leads to a door. I can't wait to get the flying snakes. You want to check that other hallway first before we continue? The one above us. Yeah, might as well just to be sure. Yeah, why not? <laughs> like a ballerat, just woo. <laughs> a ballerat, yes. Ball well, we can't say ballerina because we're in a D and D world. They probably have different words for it. <laughs> yes, like ballerat. Hmm. 
Okay. So this is an opening over here, you said, right? Yes. So is this out, muddy? See... Is this muddy? <clears throat> it, it's in? it's thick mud, yes. Uh, hmm. You know, it's a shallow, clear pool. Does this seem like it goes down any further down this direction? It does. Uh, it leads around a corner and to a door. Yeah. Right back there. God. I'm sorry, but your pool of water looks like a nut sack. <laughs> <laughs> Is there Wonderful. anything in the water here? Uh, as you kind of look through the water, you notice little little bitty like blind fish just kind of darting around. Does there appear to be anything else in the water? Uh, you don't see anything, no. Well, I asked Lord kind of if... fish these are? Uh. Yeah. Uh, just little random fish. <laughs> random fish? Hmm. I, I, I don't know the geon Cave genealogy fish. of the fish in the water. I'm sorry. Damn it. <laughs> you mean you're not a biologist? On fish? No. <laughs> I am not. A marine biologist. Damn it. Like the average fish you would find in a pond or something. A blind. Basically. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So, how about this door? Okay. Is it locked? Uh, so you're trying the door? Yes. Alright, so you're trying the door. I need... Who's in front of the door? Oh, Jesus. I am. I see three people. Oh, no, I'm off to the side. Can't you see here? Yeah, I'm off to the side, too. It, like, no, based on where you are, you all are not. I need all three of you to make acrobatics rolls. All right. Make, no, no, no. Make dexterity saving throws. As you, as you try better. the door, you see a piece of the ceiling big piece of dirt come flying down. Uh, save, save, and save. You all manage to dodge back as a large chunk of mud comes smashing down at the floor in front of you. Jeez. Well. Hmm. Is it blocking the door now? Uh, it's kind of splattered out. You can still get to the door. But it's okay. Yeah. But it does seem to be locked. Yes. How about now? It is unlocked. Right, As you I'm open it. Yeah. Right. Uh, you see, you, you see about fifteen uh, cask of. of and kegs raised up off the floor on wooden shelves. Hmm. Can you repeat what's in there again? Cask. Yeah. And, and they're like cask and kegs of uh, 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 are stored on top of like a shelf. What's stored in them? Uh, so you want to search through them? Okay. Uh, so as yes. you guys search through most of them, you notice that they're just kind of cheap beer and stuff like that. But you do find four that are different. Uh, you do find three different types of beer and a kind of special brewed wine. Hmm. Hmm. By special brewed wine, can we tell like the odor is different or the... The, the just by looking at the colors different. You, you can tell it is some. You can tell based on the smell. It's a, a different kind of special brew. Mm. Uh, Does it have any special properties? It has value. Ah. <laughs> uh. They each cask weighs about two. The same weight is about two hundred fifty gold pieces. Uh, you know the beer is worth about a hundred gold pieces a piece, and the wine is worth about two hundred gold pieces. Mm. Laura, that's not carrying anything. <laughs> I'm just making a mental note of this room <laughs> to uh, come back, maybe. Okay. Any of you would like to lug these around, be my guest. 
Just kinda... Is any of the beer or wine of Dwarven make? You know that the wine is Hammerhead Special Brew Wine. Made once every ten years. Hmm. And how much does that one weigh? It weighs the equivalent to 250 gold pieces, and this has a value of 200 gold pieces. How much does 250 gold pieces weigh? Second, let me double check. I have to put my conversion here. Uh, it's about 40 to a pound. So, you're looking at about 6 pounds. I'm going to grab the dwarf wine and put it in my backpack. Or, wait. Or, how big is the how big is the actual container? Uh, it's... I imagine it bigger than like a 2 liter. Like a, like a, think of like a big milk jug. That they're small casks. These are the, the the special oh. versions are kind of small cask. They're not like okay. they're not like massive, like kegs, <laughs> like tapped kegs. I'm gonna grab the small cask of the dwarven wine that I put in my backpack. Okay. And he said that was the only two hundred gold piece. And the rest of them were about a hundred gold piece for the beer, right? I correct. I'll at least take one of the, and they're about the same size as the beer. Yeah. I'll take at least one beer. Okay. I need to put, add that to my inventory here. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm done. Try to get the treasure room. And you said about six pounds, right? Yep. Gotcha. What was that called again? The Thunder Brew Wine? Hammerhead Special Brew Wine. I'm sorry, that didn't retain at all. What was it Hammerhead again? Hammerhead Special Brew. I believe. Yes. Hammerhead special brew. <clears throat> a shark. That is special. Yeah, I got that then. <laughs> in my inventory. Okay. Now that we have acquired alcohol. <laughs> Congratulations, you have acquired beer. Hooray. Clearly this alcohol is what caused all the uh, <laughs> people in the village to leave. Shall we go back to where we were? Near the lake? Yeah. Are there's... Down south there? Yep. Oh, yeah. I'd agree. What were we going to say, Noni? Sorry. No, nah, never mind. Okay. I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> no, I changed my mind midway anyway. Okay. Yep. All right. Onwards. What do we see, Mark? There's a door here, right? You see a door. Is it, a door? <laughs> Is it trapped? 
Wait, should we all take a step back? <laughs> Do you see where Loreleth is standing? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it might be. You never know. Better safe than sorry. Last one was. So, you would like to try the door? Would I'd like to, to check, check for traps. Trap. <laughs> okay. Make a... <clears throat> Make a brush up check to search for traps. Probably the more appropriate way than trying to slide a hand in. Uh, you look around, you don't notice any traps. It seems to be clear. It does, however, seem to be locked. Alright, I'll try to unlock it. Uh, you are successful. I will open the door. Alright, so you step into a room with tall ceilings. It seems much, it actually seems taller than any of the rooms, with four large columns in the center. Holding it up. Does this remind us of that one room very much that had the uh, like mud in the middle? Eh, slightly. I mean, it's got pillars to hold it up, but beyond that, it doesn't have like any mud or anything like that. No. Hmm. And you kind of notice it goes to a little quarter that leads farther down. And they are just support pillars, right? They do appear. They appear to be tree trunks shoved into the ground to hold the roof up. See, as you all cling around, I need you all So as you all are as you all are moving around, you start to hear hissing. Uh oh. Flying snake, flying snake, flying snake. Where where do we hear it from? The ceiling? Do we hear it from the ceiling? I like to look at the ceiling. <laughs> you hear it from in front of you, down the hall. <laughs> and then it seems to kind of fill in around you. I disappeared. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come. <laughs> I draw my swords. Oh, well, you just spread there. Like you around us? Here. I Wait, know. retreat now. <laughs> Do we... <laughs> and he said around us, so does that mean that there's like holes in the wall? You'll see in a second. Just told your thoughts. I think Mr. Luther is now neutral to us. Yeah, that happened last time with, uh, I think, your character disappearing. I th yeah, I believe so. Flying snakes! That's... You see six flying snakes appear from out from inside the tree trunks and down the hallway, rushing oh, at you. I actually need to... Anyone here have a fear of snakes? Because it just got worse. <laughs> well, now I have a fear of snakes. And now they fly? I need you all to roll initiative. Oh, fucking hell. Alright. That's a bad 20. Woo. Nice. If only you had a little dex on that, buddy. <laughs> yeah. right? You might live through this combat. <clears throat> Lorelith, you managed to have your weapon drawn and are ready. Oh, it is your go. Okay. <clears throat> Why am I wounded? From... The combat earlier? They never swung at me. I was the only one who was hurt and for two points. Huh? Somebody was. You were definitely hurt at some point. Hang on. Oh boy. I know Luther was hurt. 
Is it her last session? No, it should have been reset after we took the long rest. All oh, right. Yeah, we... Right. That's what I'm trying to figure out where I got hurt from. Like <laughs> we jumped out of the way of the mud. Oh yeah. Oh. Um. Not sure. And I'm pretty sure I'm the one who we got fought those hurt. Cultists. And that was for two. This cultist attack. That's what I'm looking at. Let's see, party long rest. <laughs> no, 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 there. That's Duluthia, that's Duluthia, that's Duluthia, that's the cultist. Cultist is dying. Which one do you attack? Hmm. I don't know. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I don't know why. I guess I got stuck on there somehow. Hmm. Alrighty. Laura, uh, it is your go. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... Gonna move back over here. And, and I guess just take a shot at this flying snake over here. Let's see. Mm. Uh, the hits? Uh, so you're able to skewer the snake? And kill it. Alright. Anything else? This poem. Boom section. No. No, I'm done. <laughs> this flying snake... ...will step up. Attack fourth. And hit. And do five points of damage. Man. As it bites into you with its teeth. But it is your go. Alright, so... This snake's the one who attacked me. These snakes do double damage, that's the thing. They're, they're weak, but they're... Good shall resist. attack it back. <laughs> okay. That's a horrible. Uh, you miss. Uh, I whimper a little bit, then I guess I'll end my turn. Okay. This snake will fly up. Tenoni, and attack, and miss. This one will fly up to Eldalar, and attack, and hit, dealing eight points of damage. Ouch. Ouch. Edelar, as, as you can kind of feel it bite into you and inject poison, it seems to kind of burn. Edelar, it is your go. What? He's snake. I'm going to try to get a little revenge here. Uh, that hits. It's dying. This is where a giant snake. And I'm going to walk over to this one and attack it. You can't attack it. Yes. Which one is that? Number two? You can just target it, it automatically works. Okay. 
critical. Uh, that hits. I'm going to add my sneak attack. Okay. Oh, that kills it. Gonna use the rest of my movement to move up here. And that'll be <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna smack the one right in front of me and I have an advantage, right? Yep. Ah, uh, th that crits. You get a hit anyway, so it didn't matter. Ah, uh, that kills him. And I'm gonna... let me see... I'm gonna move... Oop, move next to that one right there and... end my turn. Alrighty, this one down here... will fly up to fourth, and will attack. And miss. I think that's flying snake four. Yeah, four is the one I'm next to. Yeah, yeah, my bad. It still would have missed, so it didn't matter. Okay. I'll put him back. Alright. Uh well, it's Europe. Alright. I need to go ahead and target Flying Snake number one and take a shot. Uh, that hits. Alright. Uh, that kills it. Alright. That'll end my turn. Ba -boom. Fourth, you're up. Oh, sorry. I had my mic up. Uh, you failed. Uh, no, it failed. Yeah, it failed. <laughs> Pretty big figure. Uh, y you do two damage to it. It seems to be wounded. And I'll end my turn. Okay. I'm gonna mosey on up here and try to finish this guy. Okay. It's Snick. Uh, you hit. Uh, and you kill it. Alright. Excellent. Is that it? Uh, that is all you see. Okay. Laura Leth will go ahead and try to collect her two arrows she fired. Alright, make a perception check, see if you can find them. Ba, 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 ba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're able to retrieve both of them. Awesome. <laughs> Things are coming up Millhouse. Oh, the pop goes references. <laughs> Gotta love them. All right, let's continue, shall we? Uh, I just want to take a quick look around, see if there's anything stashed away, hidden, yeah. or something like that. Right. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Secrets. The uh, one must find all the secrets. You don't find anything uh, of merit. Well. Moving right along, man. <laughs> Turn you on. 
Michael? So as you all look down this way, you notice there seems to be some more kind of trees that almost seem like they're they're down here. They're not just trees stuck in the ground, but actual whole like trees kind of look like they're growing up. Hmm. Do I notice any kind of holes or some that the flying snakes were in the previous room in there? Does it look like that? Uh, you don't notice anything now. Does this mud in front of us look anything other than mud? Just mud. Just mud. Do I hear any snake noises? <laughs> oh, me. So as you all step into the room... One second. Okay. And that's not how you spell snake. I could use a swarm of poison snakes. That'd have been cool. That would have been a smarter idea. I'm apparently a moron. You see two giant, giant poisonous oh snakes slither out. More snakes. Yes. I need you all Great. to roll initiative. Yay. Yay. Initiative, my favorite. All right, Edelar, right, you are first. They were like I'm gonna stand crunch. next to Luther here, and I'm gonna. Pull out my hand crossbow. Okay. Number two. Okay. That is a miss. I'm gonna grumble slightly and then my. <sighs> Alright. Hang on a second. No. Nope. No, that is correct. That is a miss. <clears throat> yep. Lorleth, you are Okie dokie. Mm. Alright. Go ahead and... Let's see, can I see the poisonous snake number one? Ah, uh, you can. You can see both of them. Okay. Alright. They're very Go large. Go ahead and just take a shot at the uh, number one man there. Okay. I don't even... Oh, well. Mm, you miss. You don't say. Nope, nope, didn't say it. <laughs> Alright, I'll use my movement ap action to weep profusely. Okay. End of turn. <laughs> okay, so I want to move up about here. So how does hold action work? Because I want to hold my action for the snake to come to me. Uh, you if declare what action you're going to do yeah. and what condition you're going to hold it for. Swing your bow. Or... Alright, so I'm going to hold action to, for the snake to come to me. Okay. Which I will attack if, if it does. Swing at it. Okay. Right. So do I in turn? Yep. Yep. All right, and it will slither up and try to make an attack. You can now attack with your action. Uh, you hit. <laughs> and you kill it as it slithers up to you. Rapidly coming at you, you're able to kill it before it's able to sink its fangs into you. The other one will slither up Attack Luther. Uh, and it will miss. Uh, Luther, you are free to go. 
Uh, I'm gonna snakes. give him a smack. Uh, you miss. Well. And I'm gonna end my turn. <laughs> mm -hmm. you're go. I'm gonna move around and give him a poke with advantage. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's true. That hits. Alright. I'll add a nice sneak attack to that. Okay. And that kills. Alright. The second snake dies. You managed to chop up its head and it sits by its start with, uh, wiggling around. Yep. That's where I just didn't roll my sneak attack. Yep. Try to salvage the arrow. But, nope. You are unable to retrieve the arrow. Well, darn. So, did these snakes come down from the tree or up from something? They came from up from around the roots of the trees. <laughs> gotcha. Hmm. Uh, we're going to take a five minute bio break and drink break right there, because that's, half okay. that's roughly halfway through the night, oh. basically. So, let's we'll take a five minute and we'll be back. All right. All right. Snakes, snakes, and more snakes. Don't worry. Uh, I'm going to pause the video, and I will come back in a minute.